Hey guys, 8 Squid here and welcome to another Playmaker tutorial in Unity. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to look at um, enemy health. Okay, so before we jump into this, uh, consider hitting that like button and uh, subscribing for more tutorials from me. And we're just going to dive straight into it. So you see here, I've got a very basic scene. Um, this is the same scene I used for the shooting tutorial. So if I hit play, and in this case, it's got it set up. So if I press enter, I will shoot. So I press enter. You see, I shoot. And obviously, I've got this uh, uh, image here to represent the bad guy. Obviously, nothing's happening at the moment. You see the bullet passes straight through. OK? Um, so basically, what I want to do is maybe in a game, you want it to take more than one hit to kill your enemy. So we'll set that up. So on here, I'm just going to call this my enemy. And I'll tag it as enemy. So if you haven't already got a tag for enemy, you're going to add tag, click the plus, and then call that enemy. I've already got it. So I'll tag this as enemy. OK. And so what we need to do is give this a collider. Um, as it's a 2D environment, we have numerous options. We could use a circle collider. Or we could use a box collider. And if we use them, it's going to put a circle or box around this. So what I like to use is a polygon collider, because it will actually map out, as you can see there by the green lines, the exact shape of our enemy here. All right, and I'm going to... Wait a minute. Okay, and then we'll add a rigid body also. Rigid body 2D. Okay, and we'll make the gravity scale on that zero. Okay, polygon collider is being a bit weird at the moment. Let's get rid of that a second. Let's see now. Oh, looks like we've got a bug. No, there we go. Okay, and we'll add the polygon collider. 2D, open that up, okay, and we'll make sure that that is a trigger, because we want basically our bullet to disappear when it hits the enemy, which is already set up, and if you want to know how to do that in the shooting card in the top about how to set up shooting, but if I press, oh sorry, wrong one, if I press enter, you'll see the bullet hits and then disappears. Okay, so. Now, uh, there's basically two ways you could do this if you're going to have one at a time. So, one enemy at a time, that is. So, we're going to add an FSM on our enemy. And we want to have, um, I think, four, five states even. Let's see. Hit, float, compare, alive, dead, back. Uh, maybe I think four states is enough. Okay, and we'll add a finished onto there. On here, we'll put alive, and here, dead. We'll add alive and dead on here. Link alive to one, dead to the other, and then the one that's linked to alive, we'll put finished and link that back to the beginning. Okay, so here we're going to say uh, bullet. Hit, we will say check health. Here we are still alive. That is not spelled correctly. And here we'll say dead. Okay, so on bullet hit. Uh, because the bullet it should be a trigger, yeah, so my bullet here is a trigger. I can get rid of this bullet prefab here. Okay, so on our enemy, we we're going to have a tr uh, trigger 2D event, collide tag with bullet, or whatever your projectile is tagged as. Maybe not even a projectile, it could be like a sword. So whatever the weapon or 
projectile is make sure that the collide tag is for that. If you've got multiple, you can put multiple of these on it as long as it all goes to finished. Unless you want different things to happen depending on what happens. So like maybe if it was tagged with a bomb, yeah, it maybe would go and play an explosion. Um, or maybe like kind of like the character exploding into pieces if you want to be really, really gory. So on trigger enter, it is going to collide with the bullet and send it to check health. And here we want to do a float compare. Okay. And this is where we're going to do it one the wrong way first, just to show you why you want to do it this way. Okay, so first of all, let's say what most people might use is obviously you're going to use a float. Maybe you're going to want to use like a global variable because you want to set all your enemies' health what are the same at one go. So let's say enemy HP. Okay, so this is the wrong way. Okay, so we go to globals and we find here, I've got a few here already, enemy HP. Let's set that to three. Okay, so it's going to take three hits. Um, before we get to damage. And actually, we do need a fifth one. We'll add the fifth one here. And this is going to be take damage. And we'll put finish on this one. Okay, and on take damage, just want to do a float subtract. And a next frame event, just to make sure that it will move to the next state. Okay, so next frame event will be finished, flow subtract, and we'll go to globals, enemy HP, and we'll subtract one. Okay. Then when it's subtracted one, we are going to have the flow compare, and it's gonna check our enemy HP. And when that hits zero with no tolerance, if it's equal to zero, we're dead. If it's less than zero, we're dead. And if it's greater than zero, we are now still alive. Now, still alive, we want to do a next frame event. So it just loops back to bullet hit, waiting for the bullet hit. And in dead, we will say destroy self. Okay, now if we hit play, this will work perfectly fine. So we hit fire, one, two, three, destroy self. Now he's gone. Now, what the problem is, duplicate, duplicate. Let's have, say, just, they aren't gonna fall. Yeah, but just literally to show you, yeah, what will happen, hit play. Okay, one, one, okay, we go one, two, three, one. Okay, and you see there, that one died with only one hit. And if we actually look at the enemy here, okay, and we go to our variables, enemy HP, not showing up, we go to globals, it's now minus one. So if I move this guy here, and shoot, he's gonna die with one hit. And that's because we're using a global variable. Okay, now if you didn't do a trigger enter, you know, maybe, you know, you did a, it separately, so where every few seconds it will check your health. And then separately you do a bullet hit to subtract HP, you'll find that all your enemies would die in one go. So to fix this, it's really simple. So we've got our original enemy here, and we don't want to use a global variable. All right, so we'll go to variables, come on, there we go, global variables, we'll get rid of our enemy HP one here. And then here, we are going to use a new variable, and it's called it enemy HP. And we're gonna subtract one. Now in variables, go to enemy HP here, and then we set that level here, okay? And then enemy HP here. Now, 
This is only going to work in this FSM. If I add a new FSM, yeah, and go to variables, you see there's nothing here. It's only going to work in this FSM here. Okay? So, if you're going to have multiple enemies, you're probably going to want to use this method and make sure that it's all linked in one way. Yeah, and what you could do to, what's happened there? Did I delete the wrong one? Oh no, edit, there we go. If you wanted it so, you know, it's checking every few seconds, you could have, you know, wait a few seconds, do a ball test, has it been hit? If yes, flow subtract. If no, it loops back to the beginning. Okay, so now if I duplicate this guy, okay, so I'll have one there and him here, hit play. Fire one, two, three, he's gone. One, two, three, gone. And one, two, three, gone. So you see there that just by duplicating them or cloning them, they are um, variable, the float variable on them, because it's local, only applies to them and it will not apply to the others. So it's not going to be like using a global one where one takes three hits, all of us take just one hit to kill. And that is it. So, uh, Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and also consider hitting that subscribe button. If you have a request for a tutorial, leave a comment in the comments down below. You know where the comments are. And I will see what they are and I will add them to my list of tutorials to make. Uh, also, you could also consider joining my Discord. There'll be a link in the description and also in the pinned comment. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, 8-Bit Squid out.